Okay, so what I got for you right now, just out here in my backyard, and uh, just collected up um, some of this pine pitch we talked about on another video there, and uh, stuck a little bit of it in a spam can. And it's probably, you know, when you take out the space where it's probably a third of the way full, maybe a little bit more than that. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to start this fire, and I'm going to kind of heat up this this uh, piece of charcoal here. It's a piece that I had burned off before, but and then I also want to heat up this uh, this tin with this pine pitch in it, and I'm going to mix that at a uh, one to three ratio, so about one third uh, of charcoal smashed up to about you know three parts of the uh, pine pitch, and then that's going to give me a good basic glue and what I'll do with that is then I will um, roll that onto when it's nice and thick and gooey and mixed together then I'll roll that into some little balls on the end of these sticks and let that harden and then I can just kind of put that in a little primitive kit that I've been working on or kind of a semi-primitive kit that I've been working on and then if I'm ever out in the woods, I need to, you know, have some glue or something along those lines. I need to seal up something. Um, you know, I can I can use it for that. And it's just uh, just kind of a kind of a cool little thing. And you know, uh, in traditional uh, woods or you know pine pitch glue was was a pretty useful item. So anyway, I'll uh, get this started melting here, and we'll show you what we come up with. One thing you got to be careful of when you're doing this, if you uh, had any doubt that pine pitch was flammable, <laughs> there you go. Uh, you got to be careful that you keep it out of the flames so it doesn't actually burn. All right, let's try that again. All right, so there we are. We're rendering down that, uh, or melting down that pine pitch. And you can kind of see, you just get it to like a simmer and it'll start to, to melt down. You want to get that all the way consistently fluid, and before you mix in your ad or your uh, charcoal. Okay, so here, just it's just taking a couple of minutes. I've got this to where it's all nice. So you can see that kind of consistent, liquidy consistency there, whatever. Um, and now what I do want to do is I'm going to chunk off some of this charcoal uh, or some some other pieces from the fire I want to get about a third of that so you know just maybe a, about an inch and a half square or something like that and then I'm gonna uh, chop that up and then I'll add it to it. So I'll show you that here in just a second okay so I've taken a chunk of this charcoal and basically I've got kind of a curved stick here and I'm just pulverizing it down into powder and you want to get it really as fine as you can so that it can bind with the pitch fairly well so I'm going to work at this a little bit and grind that up and then we'll add it to it and we'll be good to go okay so see if you can see that down in there I've got the uh, charcoal added in and now we're just going to kind of stir it up and it's started to solidify just a touch so I may have to stick it back on the heat there we'll see here in just a second well my can spilled over and I spilled most of my glue I still have some in there but I'm going to have to add some more pitch and some more ash to it it looks like stuff's definitely flammable <laughs> okay now I've uh, added some more after my little disaster a little catastrophe added some more pitch and a little bit more charcoal and got this kind of gelling up nicely and once it gets to kind of a good thick gooey gel consistency that's when I'll go ahead and start putting it on the ends of these sticks here and then kind of getting a little ball or dollop 
kind of stuck to the end of it. So we'll see what that looks like here in just a second. Okay, so here is what we're looking like so far. Um, had to stick this back on to get it kind of warmed up again. But uh, just kind of balling it up, put a little bit on, then let it cool. Put a little bit on and let it cool. And uh, kind of keep it in the shape of, you know, almost kind of like a big match or something along those lines. So that looks like it's getting warm. We'll put some more on. So there we're starting to get kind of what we're looking for. Um, got pretty good, pretty good sized dollop on the ends there. And uh, we've almost used all of the pitch in the can. So that will be, uh, once that's all done, we're kind of warming it back up again, then we'll be all finished. And this is a, just a great little resource to have in a primitive kit or, you know, really even any other kind of kit. Um, like I said, you can use it for glue. You can also use it uh, to aid in fire starting. You know, this, this stuff still burns even though it's got that charcoal in there. So, anyway, we'll finish this up here shortly. Okay, so here are the pitch glue sticks all finished up. Um, as you can hear, they are solidified. And... They are not um, tacky or, or sticky to the touch. They, once they harden up, as you can see the reflection on them, they, they kind of glaze over and, you know, they're fine um, to put in your pack or whatever the case may be. It almost feels like a hard plastic. Um, you know, if you're going to leave your pack sit down in the direct sun or something along those lines in a hot environment, it might get hot enough to kind of start melting them back down a little bit, but... Probably not. Um, they're probably going to be fine. So, anyhow, um, that's what the glue sticks look like and how you make pitch glue. So, hopefully you found this useful. And if you did, then, you know, I appreciate it if you like and subscribe and share it with your friends. We'll have some other videos out to you here shortly. See you later.